Hey guys, welcome back to Dips Witch Demos. My name is Jackson and today we're checking out the Espresso FX Fuzzbender Mark II. Wow, 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 wow. This is a serious contender for my favourite fuzz ever. Let's just say it straight up. Um, the first time I plugged this in was a revelation. I wrote like six riffs just in like the first half an hour of playing this pedal. Now I'm not actually sure that I've ever played a properly authentic tone bender before. Now definitely not a Mark II variant and I pretty sure that I've just gone straight to the best of what's available out there. It's still very authentically vintage, but we do have a few nice features that make it a bit more pedal board friendly. We also have different transistor options. This has sort of the standard tr transistors in here, which are Germanium Mullard, OC75 and OC76, um, and they make this thing absolutely scream. <laughs> Now a quick history lesson on tone vendors and what is different and maybe a bit special about the Mark II version. First came the Mark I and then the Mark 1.5 pretty soon afterwards I think and they were quite different from each other. Uh, they're still both two transistor circuits but the Mark 1.5 was biased differently and the component uh, values were different as well. To put things into perspective a little bit, the Mark 1.5 is essentially where the fuzz face came from. They're very, very similar tonally and circuit-wise. Then the Mark II came along, and from what I can tell, it is basically a modified version of the Mark 1.5. It has an extra transistor in there, so essentially giving it another gain stage at the front end. A lot of people have said it's like a fuzz face, but you're slamming it with a boost pedal in front. And it is sort of like that. You know, you get more gain, more mids, more volume, and this thing flipping rips. <laughs> There's so much more mid-range than a classic first face and a much tighter bottom end, which for me makes it more usable in every circumstance. It's also got a lot more aggression and fight than a fuzz face. It is much more punchy 
and for me that's perfect. Rolling down the volume knob on your guitar will not give you the same sparkly cleans that a good fuzz face will, but it, instead it cleans up in a much more broken way, and for me, it's to die for. It's such a groovy sound, and I love that as well. <laughs> Bender Mark II we also have a bias knob in the middle and this is essentially for fine tuning those transistors inside to get them in the sweet spot for you. Depending on whether you're in a really hot environment or a cold environment or just want to slightly vary your tone a little bit, it's a great tool. It is slightly different from bias knobs that you may see on other fuzz pedals from other companies where you get such a massive sweep of bias, you know, the extremities of a low bias or a high bias fuzz. This is much more of a fine tuning tool and you're not going to drastically change the tone whether you have it all the way down or all the way up but there are some slight differences. Like I said, it's about getting those transistors in the sweet spot. things that I've mentioned really help me do my thing with this fuzz. This fuzz sounds like me. This is the sound, the fuzz sound that I've been searching for for so long. You guys know I love fuzz. And that's about it, I suppose. A simple demo for a simple pedal, but that's not to take away from the pedal at all. This has completely cemented itself as one of my favorite fuzzes ever, if not my favorite. That's how good it is. <laughs> Thanks guys for checking out the video, if you like what you saw please subscribe and maybe check out some more and I'll see you in the next one. Cheers guys! Yeah.